Hey there, gang. Troy Dean here. Just another wanker with a camera connected to his computer and an opinion that he just has to share with the rest of the world. And I want to talk today about the order in which you should focus on things because the most common conversation I've had over the last 10 years goes something like this. I've got these amazing automations set up in Airtable and ClickUp and Asana and whatever other system I'm using. And it's so beautifully automated that when my clients come on board, they get these 17 emails and these four tweets and this lovely hamper in the mail. And it's all beautiful. And it all happens while I'm asleep. And by the way, I'm broke because I don't have any clients. So here's what I think you should do instead. I think you should focus all of your efforts into bringing on more clients and growing your recurring revenue until you are at at least, at bare minimum, $30,000 per month in recurring revenue. That's right. You heard me right. $30,000 a month is what you need to be earning in recurring revenue before you worry about documenting, 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 don't edit that out, Max, before you worry about documenting your standard operating procedures, okay? Do not, if I catch any of you documenting standard operating procedures, I'm gonna come and slap your ass, okay? Because you just don't fucking need SOPs unless you've got a team who don't know what they're doing. And chances are you don't have a team big enough that means you need SOPs, right? So here's my, fr here's my model. 30 grand a month in recurring revenue, right? And at that point, your team, you can just shout at each other in Slack to make sure everything gets done on time or click up or a sun or whatever system you use. And then once you're at about 500K a year in revenue, you might wanna start thinking about some SOPs, which I'm gonna give you a framework for in a moment. And I'm gonna make it super easy for you, the agency owner, to get all your SOPs done like that without you doing them. And by the way, we're not doing them, right? And we don't we don't do that anymore. We don't document your SOPs for you. Your team are going to document your SOPs for you. Oh, what? That's insane, I hear you say. Well, I'm going to walk you through a framework as to exactly how that works in a moment. But the, the point is, you do not need SOPs or automations because I promise you, all you are doing is distracting yourself from the real work you need to be doing, which is closing more deals and growing your recurring revenue because that's the scary work because that's where we face rejection and nobody wants to be ostracized from the tribe. So we don't do the sales and marketing work because it's easier to fuck about an Airtable building automations for our zero clients, right? Gee, it'll be great when we finally land some new clients, won't it? That onboarding sequence is really gonna take off. In the meantime, we're broke. So focus on what I call RGA. Revenue generating activities. Got to have an acronym. Focus on revenue generating activities. That's all you should be focused on until you're at 30K a month. Once you're at 30K a month in recurring revenue, start building out your team. Fire anyone who's not an A player, because at that point, you'll probably have a couple of people on your team that have just been hanging around because they were available, but they're probably no longer cutting the mustard. So you get rid of them, stay friends, but get rid of them. Do the right thing by the business get rid of them, right? And hire A players until you're at about 500 or 750 a year in recurring revenue. And at that point, things will start to fall through the cracks. And then you make it really easy for your team to document how they do their job. Here's the problem with agency owners trying to document how the agency runs. One, it's based on an assumption that the agency owner is the best person to do it. And they're not, because most agency owners are a jack of all trades. In fact, most agency owners are a bit shit at everything and pretty good at maybe one or two things. So why would you document something that you're shit at and then delegate that to someone that you've hired and then wonder why they're doing a shit job and you think it's their fault? They're just following your shit process because you don't know what you're doing, which is why you hired them in the first place. It doesn't make any sense. I spoke to an agency owner once who said, we've been through seven project managers this year. I said, yeah, let me tell you what the problem is. It's not the project managers. You hire them and then try to teach them how to do project management. And you don't know how to do project management. So stop doing that. Hire people who know what they're doing. Get them to bring their process with them and get them to document it as part of their job. And add that to your company wiki. Genius, isn't it? Hey. Now, what's the framework for documenting your standard operating procedures? 
It's really simple. There's one SOP that you should document as the agency owner, and it is the SOP on how to create SOPs. And there is a link somewhere on our blog. Someone will find it, and we will put it in the description of this video. I hope someone's paying attention here, Max. We'll put a link, the SOP for creating SOPs. I think it's called the process for creating a process. It's a Google Doc. You do it once. You give it to your team and say, hey, when you've got a minute, just spend an hour a week making sure we document a process so that if you get hit by a bus, someone else can come in and take over. Right? So the order in which you need to do things, ladies and gentlemen. One, revenue generating activities to grow your recurring revenue. Two, build a team of A players and cut the dead wood because they will make you sink. Three, build out your standard operating procedures by empowering your team and requiring your team to do it. That is the order in which you should do things. I hope this is helpful. Remember, I'm just another wanker with a camera connected to my computer and an opinion that I just have to share with the world. If you want some help, just reach out to us by leaving a comment with help below or email support at agencymavericks.com. We probably can't help you. And I'm, again, I'm not being a smart ass. I'm just telling you the facts that we're good for about two or 3% of the people that watch this video will potentially be our clients. So chances are we can't help you out, but it doesn't hurt to have a chat with our team to see if we can. If we can, we'll let you know how. But as I said, 97% chance we'll say, no, we're not right for you just yet. Here are some other resources that you can go and have a look at and do it yourself, right? I'm Troy Dean. Bye for now.